Samsung's new mysterious phone. What's up guys and these are confusing times. Samsung is about to release a strange phone in the market at a pretty interesting timing. Along with this we also have a mega Galaxy Fold 2 news that we're going to talk about later in the video that will definitely make you happy but let's just talk about this first. So we just saw the birth of the iPhone SE second generation which is the best value iPhone and one of the cheapest best performing compact phone you can find on the market right now. It's expected to out sell every other iPhone this year. This indeed was a phenomenal move from Apple. Now interestingly Samsung's new leak for a new Galaxy has just come out and it is actually strange for a number of reasons. So first up this device is coming with a pop-up camera design. Samsung doesn't normally do that unless it's a rotatory pop-up camera sorcery but they're actually doing this. They could easily go with a punch hole camera system like they have done so many times. I mean this doesn't even fit into their Galaxy A 2020 lineup. All those phones have a punch hole camera system towards the middle identical to the Galaxy S20 family. So this is completely different and kind of strange from Samsung to pull this move right now. It's got a fingerprint scanner on the back. It looks like a glass and metal combo, a bit premium touch. We also have the triple cameras on the back, most likely wide zoom and the ultra wide lens. Now the strange move has a strange timing. It could be a secret response to the iPhone SC. It is expected to be a mid-range priced phone, but we don't know what processor they will be we don't know how much ram or what cameras this phone is rocking but imagine if this is samsung's version of a se phone it looks much better design wise compared to the iphone se but obviously the thing that really matters is what processor and what cameras this phone will be packing and uh, that could actually make or break the deal regarding this phone again we'll see more information if this actually comes out in the market or we see more leaks regarding this in the future considering the timing of this all eyes on samsung new move. Now let's discuss the major Galaxy Fold 2 leak. According to Ross Young, he is back at it again with some more information, this time regarding the camera system. So we're going to see a triple camera system on the Galaxy Fold 2 is said to be similar to the setup as the Galaxy S20. So you're getting a 12, 64 and 16 MP combination. In my opinion, that's a pretty solid camera setup. Things like 8K video, new night mode, single take, all of that will be there as well. In addition to that, the Galaxy Fold 2 is said to be around $100 cheaper than the first generation Galaxy Fold, which is a nice move despite having more features to offer this time around. We have a higher refresh rate display, S Pen, better processor, of course, better cameras, but still $100 cheaper. So my respect to Samsung for this. Definitely excited for the Galaxy Fold 2 and the Note 20 coming in the month of August. Also, Samsung has lost to Vivo in India. Once they were the best, then they were taken by Xiaomi, and now they are the third thanks to vivo according to this new analyst vivo is definitely doing better than samsung according to the sales currently and uh, the chinese mid-range invasion is too damn high for samsung to handle and even despite with the galaxy a and m series samsung is not able to overpower these giants Samsung mid-range phones offer pretty much the same features as Vivo and Xiaomi, but the price is higher because of the brand name. And people in this price range kind of don't care about that and they're actually choosing Xiaomi or Vivo phones more, which is why we have more sales for these phones. So I think Samsung has to bring the price at an even better, sweeter level for better sales. So perhaps now is the best time to unleash a budget beast. It's looking really nice, but we don't know what specs and everything will be. Uh, regarding the timing, I could expect a surprise, but let's see. It is Samsung after all. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the pricing of the Galaxy Fold 2? Are you guys excited? Be sure to vote in the poll section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.